Hey there YouTube Haunters, Brad Goodspeed here. Some of you who follow uh, the Haunters Hangout Facebook page have seen this prop already. Uh, this is something I'm calling Gracie and uh, it's another sort of hacked doll prop which is something I like to do because they're quick and easy to put together. And I really wanted to uh, kind of get something going for the Halloween season. I hadn't done anything. Actually, I'm not even sure this is going to be meant for Halloween or I've thought about kind of opening up an Etsy shop or something like that. But those are all still just thoughts at this point. So what is this? What I did is take one of those dolls, sort of like I did in my previous prop that I called Olivia. It's one of these um, dolls that uh, you learn to, you know, tie braids and things like that with. It's just a bust. The bottom of it is hard plastic and the top of it is rubber and uh, I wanted to attach this uh, resin jawbone which came off of a resin skull that I had lying around. Uh, so in order to make the head um, workable so that I could attach something rigid like that to it using epoxy sculpt of course um, like I do for everything I had to make the head rigid so I filled the head with two-part expanding foam from uh, Smooth On, the same stuff I use to uh, make my foam skulls. Uh, so it's uh, Foamit 3, is it? I can't remember, it's been a while. Uh, so I filled the head and I actually filled the base of it as well. So this thing is very, very rigid. And then I use Epoxy Sculpt, which is a wonder material, of course, because it can you know, bond to anything and it turns very hard. So some of this jaw here is the way the jaw came. Some of it, like this piece part here, is actually epoxy sculpt, and uh, where it attaches to the to the uh, head, that's epoxy sculpt as well. Um, so what I basically did is cut the jaw off of the rubber doll and attach this on there. Um, again, because this is filled with uh, Fomit 3, which is very dense material, I can actually drive a screw into it. And I did that in a couple of places, and I hand wired up this sort of contraption on the front of uh, of Gracie here. The uh, keyhole at the top is something I just found from like a Michael's craft store in the, like the scrapbooking area, as well as the key and uh, sort of the rivets that go into the top and bottom of that uh, keyhole. That's what I've put into her chest down here as well. Um, the eyes, this is one of those dolls that when you tilt the head back, the eyes open and close. So I used epoxy sculpt around the eyes to lock the expression in place. And as you can see, I took one eye and had it pointing a little bit further down to give it kind of a deranged look. I also built up certain features on the doll, like around the eyebrows and stuff like that, in epoxy sculpt to change the expression on the face so it didn't look cute. Uh, looked instead rather demented and scary and strange. Um, I also wanted the teeth. The resin jaw that I had, the teeth were a little bit too straight and nice. So I used epoxy sculpt on certain teeth to kind of make them a bit more gnarly and out there. Um, and uh, sculpted it right in so you can't really tell. Now, the main thing I wanted to do on this piece is I wanted to do a lot of painting. I wanted it to look a very certain way. So this has got a lot of airbrushing on it. I'll just quickly run down the whole kind of painting strategy for this piece. What I did was, first of all, just since it's plastic and rubber, I used uh, Krylon um, Fusion brown paint to spray the whole thing down. Just give it a base coat. And after that, I took a cream color on the end of a paintbrush and just stippled it around all over the place to break up that tone so it's not just a solid brown so there's some depth to the tones there. Then I took pearlescent powders I think I used a bronze or a gold and suspended that in uh, transparent uh, airbrush medium so it's just basically a transparent paint and water and basically created a slurry of this pearlescent powder that I brush all over the uh, piece and then just kind of push it around on there it's very watered down, but it gives it this sheen that you can see right now. Um, well, depending on how good this footage comes out, you can see it. But people who have seen this piece in person have said that, you know, it looks a lot better on person than it does on 
on camera or in pictures and then like you know not tooting my horn here but I have to agree like some there's certain aspects to the paint job which may not come through in the footage but anyways it's got this really nice kind of otherworldly sheen and that's attributed to the to the pearlescent powders um, and then uh, basically I go to work with the airbrush so I wanted to just have this doll texture uh, look to it so you know as you can see there's some pink here and there's a little it's again the footage I don't know if it's gonna come out but there's a little bit of a purpley under the eyes as if there's sort of eyeshadow there and I wanted to give it that look of a old um, dirty but um, and deranged but an old doll now so I did that kind of anywhere where there's supposed to be kind of the dolls skin and uh, as far as the jawbone that was something different I wanted it to look like bone so I took um, sort of a ivory colored paint and just painted it all over it and then started doing thin washes of watered down dark paint like a dark brown mixed with black, a little black and what thin washes meaning mostly watered down paint when you just kind of push it all over the piece it'll cling in the recesses like say between the teeth there and it'll kind of run off on the higher points if it's sort of watered down enough and you've got you, you pick up the the texture of the bone here it's kind of the opposite of dry brushing but I did actually dry brush as well I took a small amount of um, a brighter sort of cream or ivory color and just slightly dry brushed it at the end and then of course you know hit it with air, the airbrush in little places to kind of give some tonal differences but uh, the airbrush is of course a, an amazing tool for getting kind of really subtle nice paint jobs and then um, I go to it like I do with everything I use some leather stain at the end to kind of break up and add sort of dirt, dirt in areas and I just hand brush that on with a small brush and of course on the eyes to give it that kind of signature dead look or at least I don't know how you would describe it maybe not dead but strained or whatever all right I hope that uh, explains a little bit about how this prop was made um, and uh, encourage you to start trying uh, some of these things yourself this work, this work was uh, one uh, yet another piece I did that was kind of inspired by the work of Brian Dembski, who is an artist who does amazing stuff with dolls, and um, so you know this is kind of a it's kind of a tribute to that style. Um, I like doing pieces like that, and the first time I saw pieces like that was Brian Dembski, and uh, so anyways, just wanted to show this off to y'all, and hopefully you're all um, thinking about or in the progress of your first. Uh, pieces for this Halloween season. This was mine. And if not, get started soon. So until then, happy haunting. <laughs>